I was born in 1909 in Finland. Uh, my, my, my father had already come to the United States. I, said, I started at school there when I was four because I didn't know any, in, any English language. Then I got to be the interpreter for the family after that. And when he was looking for work, he took me along to interpret. And I went to Chicago. I was going to be, find a job there. But I got interested in some of the fellows got me interested in applying to the school there. And I was accepted. And, and that was the Chicago Osteopathic School of Medicine. I graduated there in 48. I, oh, I didn't have any problem at all. Uh, when, I, and when, I, when I got a chance to go there, I was, the only, I was the only woman doctor in my class of 10. I was bound and determined to get through some way or another. I used to wash, wash the dishes in the lab and take pictures on the street. And I tried to be uh, kind of good to the people who were uh, very poor and didn't have much money. But, I took a little bit of advantage of the situation. Uh, I did not report, report that I had taken care of those kids for nothing because you didn't have any money anyway. When I went to resign, the chief surgeon asked me to see, see me in his office. And uh, when I went in there, he said, I hear you're going to leave us now. Uh, I was going to go to Finland then, back to the Children's Hospital. And uh, he said, uh, uh, I want, I want, will you, will you take a little advice from me if you're going to leave us? I said, well, yeah, but if I, if I agree with it, and he said, um, I want you to go in with somebody else because you won't even make your rent. And I, I said, why? And he said, uh, I know how, I know how your heart is. So he said, you're, you're not going to charge anybody. I got a chance to go to Helsinki, Finland, to start my peace residency. Well, I, I got over there, it was the end of the Second World War, and uh, I felt so bad for the children. They didn't have anything. I, I, I tried to bring some penicillin and other drugs from here o over there so the doctors would have something. We, we used to put those children outside uh, to get their sunlight so they get vitamin D and stuff like that because they didn't have anything. My pet name over there was Hen Medic over, over at the osteopathic hospital. I didn't know that until some of my friends told me that. That's the way they, that, that tells you the way they thought of women doctors. I was disgusted when I heard that. I gave up my license just this year. But I, I didn't think, I thought maybe the Lord get, would give me the next license.